Today I'm going over how to pronounce numbers 1 through 10. Actually, no, 0 through 10. To begin, 0. 0 starts with the Z voiced Z sound where the teeth come together. Z. It then opens into the E as in she vowel sound. Z. So the jaw drops just a little bit and the corners of the lips pull back. Z. Zero. It then has the R consonant sound. Zer. So the tongue has to move up into that position. Zero. And it ends with the O as in no diphthong. Zero. One. One begins with the W consonant sound. So the lips form that very tight circle. Wa. It opens into the uh as in butter sound with a very relaxed drop of the jaw. Wa. Mm. The tongue then moves up into the end position. One. One. This is pronounced the exact same way as the word one as in we won the game. Two. Two starts with the T sound. T. T. Where the teeth are together, the tongue is behind them. T. And pulls back to release air. Two. It then has the oo as in boo vowel sound. Two. And if you notice, the lips begin to take that position even t before the T sound. Two. Two. And this is pronounced the exact same way as the word to, T-O-O, as in I want to go to, or to, T-O, as in he is going to the store. Although, to be honest, that word is often reduced to t. He is going to the store. Three. This begins with the unvoiced T-H sound. Make sure your tongue comes through those teeth. It's the only way to make the sound. Thur. It then pulls back into the R position. Thur. So your tongue will move from through the teeth to being further up and back. Thur. Then the E as in she vowel sound. Three. Three. Four begins with the F sound, so the bottom lip must move up to the top teeth. Four. It then opens into the O as in no diphthong. Four. Before moving into the R consonant sound. Four. Four. Five. This word begins and ends with this position of the lip coming up and touching the top teeth. V. V. It begins with the F sound and ends with the V sound. So the first is unvoiced and the second is voiced. It has the I as in by diphthong in between. Five, five, five. Notice that the V consonant sound at the end is very short. Five, six. Six begins and ends with the S consonant sound S, unvoiced, six. The vowel sound is the I as in sit, S. We then have the K consonant sound, sick, sick, where the tongue comes up here and pulls away to release air, sick, six. And then finally the S consonant sound again to end, six. Seven also begins with the S consonant sound and opens into the E eh as in bed vowel sound. Se, se. It then has the V consonant sound, sev, where the lip moves up and touches the teeth, sev. And the final syllable is the schwa followed by the N sound, un, un. So the tongue, which is down, pulls up to lightly touch the roof of the mouth, Un to make the end sound. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight has the A as in say diphthong followed by the T sound t 
where you release the air through the teeth. T by pulling the tongue away. Eight. This is pronounced the exact same way as the word A-T-E, as in I ate that yesterday. Nine. Nine begins and ends with the N consonant sound, N, N, where the front part of the tongue is up against the roof of the mouth, nine. And in between those two N sounds is the I, as in by, diphthong, nine, nine. And ten. Ten has the E, as in bed, vowel sound after T, the T sound, te, te. 10, 10. You can see the tongue then has to move up to touch the roof of the mouth to make the N. 10.